Hi Year One, so I am currently working from home and so is my class. I just thought I'd show you some of the artefacts that I have from my childhood. Um, so first of all I've got some toys to show you. So this is my Game Boy Colour, where you put the games in the back and then you play the game using just these few buttons and the tiny little screen that's here. It would have a tiny bit of colour but not much at all. I used to keep it in this special little bag. It would keep the extra games and batteries and things inside as well. So when I was little, I used to always play on my PlayStation. Now, it was very different back then um, because the controllers had a wire and they had to be plugged into the console where you put the CD in and then that's how you would play the game. So you weren't, you couldn't sit on the other side of the room. You had to be quite close to where your TV was. Um, these are some of the games I used to play. So we've got Crash Bandicoot or Crash Team Racing. Um, I also used to play like dance mat games as well, where you'd stand up and have to tap your feet like you do in the bowling arcades. Um, what other things, what other toys did I have? So <laughs> my mum and dad found this. It's like my Barbie car, but it wasn't a Barbie. It was another lady doll called Shelly. And so I'd put her and one of my other dolls in the seats and then I'd drive them along. Maybe you have something similar, I don't know. And then some of my favourite toys that I used to collect were called TY Beanie Babies. So I've got quite a bit of my collection here but I'll just show you a few. So they'd come as little teddy bears or animals. So you can see that this teddy bear is an angel and has wings and a halo. Got the horse, he's got a nice big fluffy tail and nice pattern on him. Sometimes you'd get sort of sparkly ones. Um, this one's called Comet, so on the labels it would always tell you their names, which I loved collecting. And then they didn't, they weren't just small ones, sometimes you could get big ones as well. So these are two of my special big ones that I have. One's about the Queen and royalty, and the other one's for my birthday. And you can see he's got a cool little hat on as well. So I used to love collecting these when I was oh, about nine or ten years old. I used to save up all of my pocket money and try and go and buy some more. Um, so how music has changed over the years is that before I was born, we used to have things called records. So this big, you can see, sort of bigger than my face. And inside, it's like a big disc, so it's called a record big and black and you would put it on a record player and the needle would come down and the record spins around and the needle touches it and that's how it plays the music and then if you wanted some more songs all you would do is turn it over and it would play a few more songs. So this is one of my mum's and dad's records from about I think it was about the 80s, 70s or 80s and then music turned into cassettes. This is a cassette tape so you'd open it up and then inside and then you'd need a tape player or a tape and CD player and that would go in and then you could also again turn it round and that would give you more songs. So I remember having a few of those when I was little but the main thing that I remember if I ever wanted to listen to music was I couldn't go on YouTube or Spotify. Um, I would actually have loads of CDs. So this is one of my all-time favourite bands called S Club 7. Some of your parents might remember this too. Um, so inside you would always get the CD, like this, looks a little bit like a DVD if you've ever seen one of those. Um, and then there'd always be a little book in the front so that you could sing along to your favourite songs and look, usually loads of pictures of the band or the people as well. And on the other side are the lyrics, the songs to the words. So I had loads of CDs, I've just found now as an adult, oh about 30 in my house. I just don't listen to them anymore. If I want to listen to music, then I just go on YouTube, just like you guys do. So things do change. And the last few things I've got to show you are like technology, so other things. So we've got a videotape. If I wanted to watch a film, then this is what I'd have to do. I'd have to put it in the tape machine. Um, and then it would take ages if it was halfway through, I'd have to rewind it and you'd have to sit there and all the pictures would go backwards. Um, so that's called a VHS tape. Um, this is what mobile phones used to look like. So it's got a little protector on it. 
little case but you can see there are real buttons there is a tiny little screen and all you could do with this phone was text people and call people there's no camera no games that's all it could do was just ring people and text people so i remember phones like that um and then if i ever wanted to take a picture because my phone couldn't do it then i'd have to use a camera now cameras used to have to put a film inside these are when it's ready and actually if i was to hold these up i would see all the little pictures so when you were taking a picture with one of those old cameras there was no screen so you would literally just hold up your camera take a picture and you'd have to wait until you took that film to a shop and get the photos actually printed you couldn't see there if it was a good or a bad photo but then cameras did change into digital cameras so here's mine from when i was a teenager and it's got this screen on the back so as soon as i take the photo i would look at the back and i'd say oh that's not a very good one let's do that again and i'd take it so that's what i remember using when i was about a teenager so a little bit older than you guys um and then the last thing that i've got to show and i would love to read to you is one of my favorite storybooks from when i was little and i know that miss earl and miss harvey have seen these too so this is The Jolly Postman. And inside these books, I've got three of them here. When you open them, it's all the letters that The Jolly Postman had to deliver. So you can see here's the outside of the envelope. And then when you turn it over, you can actually go inside the envelope and read the letters. So I will do that for you this afternoon so that we can enjoy one of these stories just like I did from when I was little. So I hope those artefacts explained a little bit about my childhood and how it is different to your childhood. I'll see you again soon. Bye.